My name's Nathan Durfee. I'm from Bethel, Vermont, but now I uh, consider myself a Charlestonian. I'm a pop surrealist, primarily paint oils. I paint to become a great painter. I think the greatest thing about art is that it presents a shot at greatness. These are footprints on my journey. I I'm always playing. I I'm intentionally not trying to pin down how I'm thinking up my narratives. I develop a system of painting and then I'm constantly challenging it. And I feel it's, you improve by evolving. People have called it pixelation. I consider mine more of a patchwork. As I start, started painting more and more and more, you know, the hundreds of paintings that go by, there's just th these swatches of contrasting color just slowly refined themselves into these little squares. And it just, it felt, it felt right. And now I'm mixing that patchwork style with either more impressionist, smoother brush strokes or even harsher brush strokes and having, having that simply be another tool with all the other painting and rendering styles. It, it was accidental that I found the squares, but I, I set out to find something. Two things happened in fifth grade. A friend of mine asked me to do a portrait of the Devil Dragon Brothers and he paid me five dollars. It was my first commission. I also did a portrait of a girl I had a crush on. It was so bad that I got sent to the principal's office and put in detention because they thought I was making a joke. I learned that uh, you can get a variety of reactions to your artwork. Art back then was just, it was a form of escape for me. Uh, math classes were boring and so I just start drawing in the margins of my rule book. There's never been a, an epiphany. In a way, I, I don't think there ever will be. It's just this tiny little crumb trail, this forking path, and in my mind, it isn't, it isn't so much what path you take, but the idea that you just need to commit to the path and know that whether you end up in this part of the forest or that part of the forest, you just, if you spend too much time backtracking, you'll never discover anything new. The most difficult thing about being an artist is, is never being right. Like all the great artists were wrong at some point and it took time to prove them right. And that scope of time may end up being longer than your lifetime. The best thing about being an artist is that there is no finish line. There is no I'm done. You could be done with a painting, but you're not done with your journey. Many of my paintings just start with a blank canvas. One of my creative tools that I use involves a lot of improvisation where I start with maybe something as simple as a line even and say, what does this line look like? Does it look like an ear? Does it look like an elephant trunk? Does it look like a, a leaf from a tree? And then I start to start asking all these questions really quickly. What is this tree doing here? Is, if it's an elephant trunk, uh, what is the elephant doing? Once you start settling an idea, then you start asking the whys, like why is this elephant here? What is it feeling? What is it struggling with at the moment? And that's when past experiences and my own memories and you know, conversations that I've eavesdropped on at restaurants, that's when those start coming into play. I have just these collected ingredients of emotions and stories that I can pick and pull together. I, I can't have the painting speak to me and only me. I'd rather look at why I'm feeling this way and then see how other people could empathize with these emotions and then try to tell those in the story. I wouldn't say they're fantasies, but they're more, they're less, they're less things that I want to do, but they're more fanciful recreations of things I have done. I rarely use photo references. It's all just based off of, of memory. A lot of my characters look like myself because 
I remember my face more than a lot of other people's faces. For me, it, it's, it's just, it just keep the engine running. Just keep on painting, keep on learning, keep on reviewing what you've done and how to make it better in the future. If I stop caring about the work, that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm scared of. And, and there are moments where I'll be painting and it just, if I'm not challenging myself, if I'm, if I'm not learning, I'm simply assembling something. When that starts happening, uh, it becomes a craft. A lot of other people may still look at it as art, but for me it's not because there is, there is no, there's no adventure. Uh, some of the best moments are when you personally take a risk on something and you break out of your comfort zone. You do something, you're not quite sure if people will like it or not, and people end up loving it. For me, that's where the creation is. It, it's not in the it's not I created a painting, it's I, I created a way of looking at something and people are on board with that. And that's, and that's powerful. The fact that you can, you can get that reaction from people and in the end you're, I'm playing for a living. I'm playing with a purpose, but it's a lot of it's discovery and it's that you know, I'm on a camping trip for the rest of my life.